Welcome back to the Air Gun Expo. And brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona. Air Guns of Arizona. And of course, Gateway to Air Guns. And what we have today is the Evil. Evil 30. That's right. To and be this, exact. <clears throat> yeah, and this gun was developed here in the USA by a friend of mine, actually, Tom Coston. Um, he used to actually live about 30 miles from me. Oh, okay. Yeah, and when he was uh, developing this gun and, and the Slayer, which you're very right. uh, aware of. Um, American Air Arms American is Air his Arms. company's yeah, name. Yeah, Tom would uh, come over and we would shoot the stuff <laughs> and uh, talk about guns and uh, shoot his Slayer. And, and now, he's, right. now he's got them at uh, Air Guns of Arizona. Yes, we are the only distributor in the U.S., uh, dealers can get them through Precision Air Gun Distribution um, and fantastic guns. They don't just make the Evol 30. There's several in the line clear down to the Evol Mini, yep, which from. is 22 caliber. And I was actually shooting that the other day at another event. And the consistency through the chronograph was amazing. Yeah. And 50 yards with a little 10 inch barrel and shooting a three quarter inch group at 50 yards was pretty amazing. Yeah, I tell you what, Tom is um, a very, very smart person to begin with. Very intelli intelligent guy. And, um, and more than that, he's an incredible machinist. And he's very meticulous yes. in the assembly. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's one of the best there is. Right, Yeah. so just the things that he selected for this gun. Sure. You know, this is a fully aluminum receiver. Right. The tank Titanium. is 290 cc's. Uh, he's perfected the moderator on this. So this is a 30 shooting up to 90 foot pounds and quiet. Right, and, he, and he's getting uh, 90 foot pounds out of a little short 18 inch barrel. Yes, um, And he it's is. shrouded. And, it, and of course, it has an air stripper and moderator. But it's also uh, uh, something that uh, um, he's developed really well is his tensioned barrel system. Yes. So this whole barrel is under tension. And what that means is the barrel is being stretched. And he does that by pulling on it and, use, and compressing the air tube. So it's a really great, and the way he does it is unique. He doesn't he doesn't do it like anybody else, and it's uh, it's very very effective, and it keeps the harmonics down, and it keeps right. the barrel very stiff and true. So it's a really interesting and well thought out uh, way of doing it. Yeah, let's point out some other features. Sure. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is this rail underneath. Yeah. Full length. So full length, rail. you can put your bipod uh, or a fixed bipod, shooting sticks, whatever. Mm -hmm. Got a little grip here with a Picatinny rail, mm -hmm. uh, which is fantastic. Uh, it is a side lever. Yeah. You are going to need to pull some tension against yeah. the spring. He's not using a, the he's using a traditional style valve. Right. It's not an electronic day state gun. Or a but balance valve. It's not hard to cut. No, it's not. And, and, no. and, and it works extremely well. And the Very. bolt's held in place with a magnet. Right. And it's got so nice, he's thought of that it's got too. nice over cam also. Same, uh, you know, safety is in basically the same position. On both it's sides. An AR 15 and it's Ambi. Yeah, You're right. you can flip it both sides, this side or this side. And it comes from the factory with a trigger pull of 8 to 10 ounces. I know. It's, it's got a Timney really trigger light. in there that he modifies and adapted to this gun. Yeah. Super. It has a fantastic trigger. It does. It has a fantastic trigger. Also comes with an adjustable stock, which yeah. you were playing with just a little yeah, bit Yeah, yeah. This is a mag pull stock, so you can adjust your cheek rest with clicks up and, up down. and down. And your length of pull also, in and out. Right. And uh, so... Solid. And I believe that this is all AR-15. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like this buttstock or you don't like this grip and you like a Hogue grip that's got finger grips on it, you can do that. Oh, yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah, they all, they all just uh, bolt right on this thing. One of the things that kind of surprises people when you look at it and it's dark and black, 
and boxy. It looks like it weighs 15 pounds. It looks heavy. It does. But it isn't. But it's incredible. aluminum and titanium. It's aluminum and titanium. And composite. And very light. This, is, this gun is easy to carry around. And yes. being a carbine, it's really short. And that makes it, you know, also very easy to maneuver and right. carry in the field. And this is a field Orient. gun. This is a true, really good field gun. Yes. You know, for walking around, hunting, or even shooting off a bench because it's incredibly accurate. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you like the 25, he also makes these guns in 25. So 22, 25, 30. Yeah. No one seven sevens. Um, I'm sure if he made one, it would be fantastic. No, I'm sure it would. But he at this he point, he's corners. not. He's he's trying to catch up with all the orders that sure, we've been taking. I bet. I bet he is. So yeah, I think man. these are in stock. But if not, Travis led you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call so. call AOA, ask yeah. them. But uh, yes, if they're in stock, get it quick because they won't be in stock for long. Um, also, this Picatinny rail. This full length rail on the bottom is also a tube protector. So when you're walking around and you might bang this up and down, you're not gonna dent this titanium tube. Um, the craftsmanship, the fit, the finish, everything is top, super top notch. So I got it all set before I left, just before I left. Put the scope on it, mm -hmm. but you got to shoot it. Okay. How did it shoot out on the range? You know, it's just like any, any gun that Tom makes. You know, his Slayer or the Evolve and all the calibers, they're sub-MOA guns. You know, they're, they shoot fantastic. You're, you're buying, you know, the highest grade there is, basically. Right. You know? And that's one of the things that Air Guns of Arizona sort of focuses on is good, high-quality as well as accuracy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys don't sell anything that's, you know, expensive and doesn't shoot well or, you know, middle of the road. It's You only sell, you know, true and tested platforms. And you were shooting it at 50 and then 100? 50 and 100, no problem either. It, it could shoot MOA out both pretty, pretty easily. And, you know, being a carbine, you know, and as short as it is, it's still whopping out there at 90 foot pounds. Yeah. It's crazy how much power he's getting out of this little You don't thing. have a lot of wind to worry about. Yeah. It, it's 30 caliber, 90 foot pounds, just cranking it out there. Yeah, it, it, it really launches them out, out there. And, you know, with this rail on the bottom, you can put, like you said, a uh, flashlight, a uh, bipod, or, you know, four bipods. <laughs> I don't think a laser would be appropriate for things under 10 yards on this one. Yeah. But maybe the mini. Would yeah. be a good place for that someone shooting pass right and something gets inside of what your scope can focus down to you can switch over to the laser yeah, true so. true enough true enough yeah and his magazines too where's this mag right here right there yeah. seven shot magazine all alloy no plastic this is you know like typical tom cost and stuff there's only super well machined high, right. you know, tight fitting tolerances. And intuitive to load. Yeah. Now you simply rotate it. And there's an arrow showing you, hey dummy, yeah, rotate yeah, it yeah. that way. There you go. <laughs> they put that on there for me when yeah, I get no, to shoot. I think, I think I was talking and about then you myself. load it from the opposite side. And once you put that first pellet in, you just it, keep rotating keep around, rotating around, dropping click it, it in, and then it sets. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a couple of little ears here. Yeah. So that when you set it in there, it actually clips over the receiver here. Yeah, it so is So you know snug. you've got it in place. Yeah, yeah, it is snug in there. It's nice. It fits like a dream. But that's how the rest of this gun is. It all fits perfectly. This, I, I was looking at this, this receiver and everything, and this mono section right here has very intricate and really hard angles and shapes to machine. I'm just thinking how much work it goes into, you know, not only designing, but then machining these parts. You know, with his machining with center, he's able to do that yeah. fairly rapidly. Yeah, it's uh, incredible. One other thing we didn't point out, you do have a gauge on here yeah. that shows you the pressure in the tank. Yeah, right here. So 
Yep, right there. On the side, too. And then that's your regulator pressure. Yeah, that's your reg pressure at the bottom down there. And yeah, you don't have to look down the bore like you do on some. And that's exactly what I was about to point out, Larry. You yeah. don't have to look down the live end of the muzzle to see the pressure heat, you know. Well, I've learned to look at the side. Yeah. <laughs> Still. But some people forget. And, so. you know, foster fitting right there. No probe. Yep. A lot, a lot of people like uh, foster fittings. And I like foster fittings. I like probes, too. But, you know, the problem with probes is there's so many kinds. Yes. But there's only yeah. one kind of foster fitting. That's true. So it's easy to uh, fill off your regular fill whip, and um, you don't have to run the rummage through your stack of foster fittings to find the one that fits here or have to carry it with you in the field right. and lose it like I would do. And if you do decide to buy one from Air Guns of Arizona, ask them for a magnetic cap to keep the dust out of it. There you go. We've got little magnetic caps that go on there. That of course, be... it's got advertising on it, oh, well. but it keeps your gun clean. Yeah. When you fill it. Well, so. you know, they got to look at that to remember where to buy their, their JSB ammo when they, when they run there it. There you go. Yeah, it reminds them. So, yeah, it's cranking it out in, nine, in the 900 feet area Yeah. with the 50 grain. With the 50 grainer, yeah. And really accurate. It's, yeah, it's incredibly accurate. But that, like I said, that doesn't surprise me. Tom, you know, is very good at what he does. He, he spends a lot of time testing, as I can, he does. I, as I can tell you, because he... He would come over regularly and then shoot from his property regularly. We text back and forth all the time, so I know how much time he puts into this stuff. Um, right. Does he? Sell and a great guy. And a, and a very yep. good guy that's easy to talk to. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's one of the few guns that are made in America. That's true. One of the very so few guns like that, left made in America. Yes. It seems it seems like that. Pockets getting smaller and smaller all the time, you know, with America. Yeah, I think guns. it's starting maybe to expand a little. And, you know, I and, hope. And I think this. I mean, last Tom's year, fairly new. Yeah. To well, the market. I mean, he's been making air guns for a while, but not on a major scale. That's where true. we're actually that's distributing. True. Yeah, because yeah, he started this whole thing probably ten years ago. Right now, thinking back. Yeah. Um, no, it was over ten years ago. But yeah, um, his products are fantastic. His Slayer. You guys sell the Slayer too, his bullpup? Yes. That is a, a magnificent yep. uh, piece of workmanship there. And, and, and he did a lot to improve that. I tell you, so. um, the, he brought things to the market with that gun that didn't exist. Power levels, balance valves, all, all kinds of stuff that didn't even exist at the time when that came out. Right. And uh, he's a true innovator in the, in the field. So, so I hope he continues. Yeah. You know? Supplying new ideas, guns, and stuff for to you guys at Air Guns of Arizona. Well, we're feeding him ideas. Great, great. Uh, but also encouraging him to keep produce, keep making more, huh? Yeah. Because we keep selling them, and we hate to have to tell people, "Well, we don't have it in stock, but we can get it for you." <laughs> yeah. It's coming in next month. Yeah. Well, if you know, if you're <clears throat> out of stock, I suggest get your pre-order in. So at least yes. you're not waiting because I, I think if you yeah. don't get a pre-order in now, you'll probably never get one. And one of the things that we covered last night in the round table, <clears throat> excuse me, is that if you place your order and we don't have it, you know, we may take a deposit, but that's fully refundable when the Correct. gun does come in if you can't afford it at that particular time. And we don't charge your card for it until we're ready to ship it and we have it in hand. Yeah. And, that, and that's great. <clears throat> and, and so and so basically it's a contract of, you know, your word. You know, you're putting up your deposit, right. which doesn't actually come out of your bank account, so it's your word. Right. Um, and, and these are worth waiting for, believe me. They, they shoot fantastic. They're built to last. They're made in America. Uh, there's nothing nothing not to like about it. You know what I mean? It, there's, it's, it's great. It's fantastic. Well built. Quality can't be surpassed. You can't. And you can't put a price on that either, yeah. you know, on this kind of quality. I like to call it a tank, but then people think it's, it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. And it is not heavy. It, it looks heavy. It's just built solid. It is solid, yeah. I mean, it, it, it is so rigid. And accurate. And accurate. And hits hard. Yeah, so that's what you're things. looking for in, right. you know, especially a 30 caliber, but also in a 22 that's accurate. Yeah. Easy to carry. That Evol Mini is mm -hmm. just fantastic short little carbine 
and, right. and just and, drills. And I know too that there's slugs that shoot well out <clears throat> of these guns too. Yes. So he does some testing you know, with, with the slugs. Yeah, and with the uh, with the power they make, uh, they make a great slug gun. You know, because yep. there's not a lot of especially carbines that can make a lot enough power to shoot slugs. Right. But these can. Yep, you like to push the slugs a little bit faster. Yeah. And this will do it. And, and slugs typically weigh a little way more right. than pellets. So you got to have the, the power to do it. Well, guys, um, thanks, Larry. Sure. And if you want your Evo, call up uh, Air Guns of Arizona and put see if they have one in stock. If they do, buy it quickly. If they don't get your pre-order in, uh, otherwise somebody's going to just be right above you when you call in. Yeah, and if you want to carry these as a dealer, we have just started offering some of the line mm -hmm. to dealers. Okay. Uh, eventually, that will expand. He'll be able to keep up production-wise. Yeah. yeah, he's tooled up, so, so he's, he's ready to start knocking these out. Yep. Excellent. All right, guys, thank you very much from Gateway to Air Guns and our sponsor, Air Guns of Arizona. Have a great night.